Holy cow, Cooper Tier just won his race. I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. Let's go find him for an interview. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it felt really good today. It was a really good race. What? I'm really happy with Bro, it. Bro, what are you, who are you? Hey, one second, I'm doing an interview. Yeah, who is this guy? Well, was great. What are you doing? Who are you? I'm Willie from Mile Split. Bro, I'm Billy from Mile Split. Who? What? 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 Welcome, Welcome to, to Ryan's Game! game. Welcome to Run Junkie, presented by New Balance. Boom, Mount SAC here. Mountains in the background. We're talking about the fastest performances of Mount SAC 2016. Who do you have? Claudia Lane, she only a sophomore, 1632. What? That's the fastest sophomore ever in Mount SAC history. Good job for you, Claudia. We're gonna talk about the guys, though, as Joaquin Martinez, he ran 1437.7, but Eric Gonzalez ran a 1437.6. Right at the end, went right to the end, almost a dive, photo finish. Gonzalez with the fastest time of Mount Sac 2016. Cooper Tier won the D5 sweeps and one of the fastest D5 times all time at Mount Sac in 1444. Bro, isn't that you? I'm supposed to talk about you. Actually, I am. Who is this guy? What else happened at the Mount Sac Invitational? Great Oaks swept the meet. JV team, boys and girls, both won JV National. Also, the varsity team won the D1, D2 team sweepstakes race. It was crazy. Guys scored. Score 54 points, girls scored 38 points. It was crazy, they swept the show. What are you guys doing back here? Uh, we gotta leave, we, we swept it. We oh. gotta go. All right, let's go check out what else happened. <laughs> Welcome to the Utah State Meet! Boom, I was at the Utah State Meet, and we're at the roller coaster here at the Santa Monica Pier because American Fork girls and guys rolled over the competition. They won 5A girls and guys state meet as a team it was great Casey Klinger broke a 10 year old course record 1442 to lead those cavemen to a victory what else happened in the boys race Lone Peak beat Davis unexpected but that's awesome to see that it happened now we're going to go over to the girls side as the Davis girls took second to who American Fork girls Sarah Musselman she led those girls to the victory another state title for American Fork Moving down to the foray though, Julie Sumption, she beat Katie Hunter. Unexpected, but it happened. What else happened though? Tempanogus won by one point. Good for you girls. I knew you got zipped last year a little bit, came back, one by one point, a win's a win, awesome for you guys. Moving on to the guys' side though, Tempanogus did not get the win there, unfortunately finished second to Olympus. What? Olympus hasn't won a state title in over 40 years. Good for those guys. Joe Benson did lead Tempanogos though to that second place finish as he won the race in 15.03. Right behind him though was sophomore Grant Gardner, 15.04. Watch out for that kid, he's coming onto the scene quick. Whoa, we had to blow the whistle because Annie Hill kinda got smoked at the Montana State meet. She was favored to win, but she took seventh overall. What happened? I don't know, but Tiana Vladek ran 16.40 to win that meet. She got a state title for her. Good job for you, girl. What happened to Annie Hill? I don't know. Maybe she just had a bad day. You had a bad day. You had a bad day. Now on the boys' side of that meet, the Bozeman boys dominated. They scored 30 points to win a Montana State title. They were led by Chase Equals, 14:40. He won the race. He did great. This is how you do this? Whoa, that guy's huge. Someone that's not that huge, but had a huge performance this weekend. Seth Hurst, he ran a 15.04, broke the Nebraska state record, and he led his team Millard West to the state title. That's awesome. Good job, little man. On to the next one. Where am I? I don't know, maybe I should ask Curtis Eckstein because he killed it. He ran the third fastest 5K in the country, 14.35. Where'd he do that? The Indiana pre-state meet. Only two people that ran faster than him, DJ Princeby and Brody Hasty. Are you kidding me? Who is this kid? Ooh, isn't she beautiful? That's right, I might never leave Redondo Beach. Not coming back, guys. Just kidding. You guys can't stay here anymore. You gotta leave, get out of here. Make sure you go home and check out milesplit.com to find out everything you need to know on the cross country and track world. Make sure you also check out that Cooper tier to announce where he's going to school. Nice little seven minute inter interview with him on his decision. Go check it out, milesplit.com. All right, guys, bye. Like, leave. Bye. Bye. Check out my car. <laughs> Things that we do after racing Mount Sack. <laughs> Tempanagos, Tempagos, 
Tepakaba, Tepakaba, what, what is it? What is it? Tipitogus! Oh, 